What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Brady Botner. What's up? We are going to be showing off some Sword and Shield decks today, and it is a Zacian Mirror. There are two primary ways floating around to play the Zacian V deck, which is poised to be one of the most popular decks out of the new Sword and Shield sets. I've got Zacian V ADP on my side of the table. What you got for us, Brady? I have Zacian V with Lucario and Mel Metal. Now, both of these decks are using Zacian V as the main kind of attacker, mm -hmm. but have the tag team Pokemon to kind of give us some extra strategies where you could use Lucario and Melmetal to completely remove all of my energy from a Pokemon right. and make your Zacians bulkier. I can make my Zacians do more damage. Right. So it's like both sides of the uh, of the coin here, you know. Uh, mine is a little bit more aggressive, could be more damage, yours is bulkier, and is a little bit more disruptive. So I'm really excited to see which one of these decks is able to emerge victorious. And uh, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure to check out FullGripGames.com. We have Sword and Shield pre-orders up now uh, for single cards. Also, FullGripCodes.com, where you can get your PTCG codes instantly delivered uh, via email. Yeah, Brady, would you like heads or tails? I would like heads. Heads it is. Would you like to go first? I would. All right, sounds good. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now, I'm pretty sure both of us are using the Marnie engine as well, right? I mean, Marnie is just poised to be one of the strongest new supporters out of Sword and Shield, and it's a hollow rare, uh, along with Professor Magnolia. And excuse the fire truck, <laughs> if you can hear the fire truck going by outside. Uh, my studio is not exactly soundproof, so, uh, by any stretch. So if you heard the uh, fire truck out there, my apologies. All right, so I will Stellar Wish. Sure. And the Jirachi engine, definitely one of the strongest parts about, um, you know, about this deck. The fact that you get to just play a significant amount of... Jirachis, and also it's just so good to start going first. You get to Stellar Wish and kind of see more cards without being able to play a supporter on the first turn going first. Jirachi is definitely a great card. Um, something that we saw in our testing yesterday, Brady, is that I think Absol is probably going to start seeing a lot of play. Yes. Uh, is that something you think you could see adding to your list? I did, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> so there's an Absol in there now. Yep. <laughs> ah, very good. Okay, yes. This list right now that I am rocking with has a Fion, but no Absol. Ah. So I think that that could certainly swing Absol. things, and I'm excited to see what happens with that. So, let's see here. I have all these energies, and I would uh, I would hate to have to just throw them all into the bottom of my deck with Marnie. I also don't want to just Professor's Research away to Marnie's. Um, that feels kind of bad. So, I'm thinking that I probably want to play Marnie, but I also want to Quick Ball first if I can. So, we're going to take a look. One, two, three, four, five. And we got the Quick Ball off of the Stellar Wish. So, we are just going to go... Straight into the deck, quick ball for, I think, the Arceus Dagopalkia. Like, we're going to try and launch this Altered Creation GX first so that we're doing more damage. We can deal 260. <laughs> it's enough to one-hit KO the Zashins if we can get that. So uh, we're going to go get the Arceus Dagopalkia, put a metal onto it, and then just going for the Marnie. I do have to shuffle my deck since I went in with the quick ball. And thank you so much, PF Stevo, for the tier one sub. Appreciate it, Stevo. Let's go. So, hand shuffled, bottom of the deck. I get five, you get four? Yep. Cool. And it's looking like that's about it from me, dog. So, I'm just going to pass, see if I wake up. Cool. And there he is. Oh, there is the Absol. What a card. Uh, now I'm going to mark. No! Man, I had everything I needed in my hand to get the turn two Ultra Creation GX. Oh, no. Yeah, the Guzma and Hala was going to get it. I already had a switch as well, just in case the Absol. Uh, this is one of the few decks that I really do kind of like Guzma and Hala in. And I think it works out 
Uh, okay, just to go get your aura energy. I mean, the idea of putting together a turn two alter creation GX, I mean, you could tag call for it, tag call searchable off of Stellar Wish. And, right. uh, it all works out pretty well since, you know, you just need the two energy on the ADP. And then even if the ADP does go down, you have that option to just really explode energy into play with quick balls and things like that. I would have loved if I had seen his option in turn one to get to use that ability, but I think it's important probably just to get the ADP going as quickly as possible. First, let's get the Arceus Daga Palkia up on the overlay as well. Get that with card no metal. Oh, nothing. How about that? And just released the Sword and Shield Top 10 video on YouTube today. So hopefully you got to check that out if you haven't already. Um, spoiler alert, Ranguru is number 10. Uh, I think that card definitely has potential. And it's, uh, yo, look at Beezle Bozo there with the command. Thank you so much, guys. Um, I think that uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the list. But let me know in the chats if there was any cards you were hoping would make the cuts. I think uh, Brady was really uh, kind of vying for the Oranguru to be number 10. And I think uh, it does go very well in the Zacian decks because you can put energy onto the top of the deck as well, which is really neat, and then just accelerate it with the ability. Right. Sure. All right. Boy Jirachi going down. A draw. So, it's just looking like we got the Aurora Energy going to discard Switch, and we are going to Marnie. And at this point, it's hilarious, so we have like three Marnies worth of cards I have just like stacked up on the bottom <laughs> of my deck, and I have not disrupted the uh, <laughs> the order of it whatsoever. Uh, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, very cool. So... <clears throat> You know, the Marnie doesn't draw us a ton of cards, uh, <laughs> but it does progress our board. So I'm feeling like here, there's really no way for you to knock out my RCS Dagopalkia, and I'm like pretty comfortable with that. So I do think that it is going to be important for me to get out a Zacian. Yeah. And I think. I mean, I guess getting out the Zacian at all gives you an opportunity to potentially start, um, you know, to just knock it out, which would be kind of a bummer. But I do think that I probably have to start getting it built up just in case you martyr me again. So, like, I have the Metal Saucer here. Uh, I'm, like, not trying to get... Um, yeah, I'm not trying to get that hand Marnied out of. I'd like to get the Zacian out when I have the Quick Ball and the Metal Saucer available to me. So I am just going to use the Alter Creation GX and pass to you. This is quite the hand. Uh, I'm going to start out with the Primal list. Um, and then I will Professor's Research. Now, why did you, you Primal, what did you throw on top? I had four energy in my hand with that professor's research. I did not want to get rid of all of them. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> so that uh, Oranguru coming in clutch there, saving you yes. a potential ugly discard, which is really good. I'm going to show off the Oranguru real quick on the overlay as well. Primate Wisdom. Sorry. Very strong ability. And the Absol... I think it's going to be a major player in this matchup. I'm already down one switch. I just not not going to be able to rely on that, you know, skateboard Jirachi. And you having this the entire series, you know, and me not, uh, I think is going to be a major, you know, major swing in this mirror matchup that we're about to see. So I think that uh, you know the last two days of testing is probably going to reveal that Absol is like almost needed in many of these decks. Thank you so much, Mac Attack, for the Twitch Prime sub. No way, bro. You're a sack. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think, like, I, I think I had to go for it. I, yeah. Yes. Uh, I think I had to go for it to put the Zacian down. I mean, I guess, you know, the odds of you marning me again are not super high. So 
Let's uh, draw per turn, and we're just going to use Professor's Research. That feels very bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Cool. So at this point, let's see what we got. Yeah, you only have three prizes remaining. Correct. Which is brutal. I can put the Zashin down. Which is fine and then I am going to this is not the worst Let's see I think I'm gonna go for the Fion is actually very good here because it's gonna guarantee me a couple things and I now have the frying pan for the Zashin which is very good for me we can also I think just take control of this match well, not necessarily, because if you knock out my Arceus Dagopalki, it's like game over. So right. that's that's kind of tough. We're going to Aurora Energy and discard the Pokemon Catcher. Um, I don't know why I'm searching the deck, but it's, it's cool. <laughs> uh, I'm used to Quick Ball. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, uh, I'm gonna, just going to use the Fion and push somebody up. And then I am going to ultimate ray for two prizes. So we're going to go get the metal energies out of the deck, throw them onto the Zashin V. A little bit of a rough start for us, but I might be able to come back here, especially if Brady has trouble building up a second Zashin or something like that. The major concern, obviously, is that the RCS Dagopalki just gets knocked out, and then it is game over. Prime me a wisdom. Quick ball. Yeah. And Zashin just does so much damage. I mean, it's absurd. He has 220 hit points. But the fact that... Um... Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that Pokemon Catcher, I didn't play it. I discarded it with Aurora Energy, but uh, I used the Fion to push something else up. But, yes, I do have Pokemon Catcher in this uh, current list. The fact that, you know, Zashian can really get in there and take these really aggressive knockouts on itself uh, is insane as well because a lot of times the best thing to combat a Zashian is a Zashian. So I really need some sort of way to reset Brady's hand to a low amount. So, you know, he's built up this second Zashin at this point. It's going to be pretty easy for him to be able to just sweep up the game if he can just get a gust on this Arceus to Algapalkia, since I can definitely take out one Zashin with mine. Let's see, we get one, two, three, four. Not super relevant, but I will put it down regardless. I can establish. Sure. Let's see, Brady, did you not discard for quick wall or did you? Back I discarded here. the Jirachi. Discarded the Jirachi. He's on it, guys. Hmm. I will take this quick wall. Sure. I'm definitely feeling up against the ropes here. I'm kind of just at the whim of whether or not Brady is able to, <clears throat> you know, gust this RCS to Yeah. Card's name? I have four. You just marty me. I did. That adds up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Brave Blade for 250. All right, 230 damage there with the Brave Blade, and Arceus Dagapakia is looking at like he is uh, whew, in deep trouble. Uh, yeah, so is that the five there? That's that's close there. Yep, very good. Okay, nice. drop a turn. Yep. And at this point, I need to dig. Uh, we can afford to put a Jirachi down. That's fine. Um, it's not really worth putting any of these other cards down, and it's definitely not worth gusting because I can just knock out the active. 
So we're just digging for a switch. I will use the metal saucer on the Chirachi, I guess, because then actually it can retrieve the escape board, which is nice. So we're gonna use Professor's Research. Oh, there is no Absol. Yeah. It's, it's still cool, man. I mean, I'd rather do that than the Sasha, I think. You never know when you're gonna want to slap. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. How many cards in your hand? Five. Six, seven. Okay, so, hmm. Did not find a switch, but I do have the reset stamp. So I can manually retreat, though. That's one way to get done. So I think we are going to, there's really no points. Um, I'll just put the energy here, and we're looking to take a back-to-back -back knockouts, probably with Zashian, and just hoping that this thing does not go down. So we're going to hard retreat the Arceus Dagopalkia into our Zashian V, and yeah, take the knockout, sure. Brave Blade, 260 damage. And we'll see if Brady can get the energy double custom catcher or energy great catcher off of this fat research and then stellar wish be very good if I had Absol myself but I do not have Absol on this list oh that's one way to do it dang Brady what a sack bro <laughs> okay show off that uh, card I don't actually have a scan of him real quick but uh Yes, the Duskbane Necrozma promo there, getting in there for the win. It's got an attack Dusk Shots, which just snipes 60 damage to a Pokemon GX. So that's game one. Yep. We're going to be... go. Oh, I was... What? Well, who was supposed to take? Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, we're, we're in there. He won anyway, so... Uh, <laughs> was there a prize card? Oh, yeah, you should take I get, three on the Zacian. Yeah, I should have yeah. taken three on the Zacian. It's all good. I do not believe that it ended up mattering, but yes, I did need to take one more prize on the Zacian. I think I took two, right? But yes, the Duskbane ending the game there. That was rough, for sure. Uh, I think, like, you know, maybe it was an error on my part benching that Zacian at all. I think if I just hold that, you know, until I'm ready to use my... Uh, my my attack ultimate ray, you know, maybe I'm in a better position there or wait till I'm able to put a frying pan yeah, onto the maybe, maybe the frying pan. I think so. So like that uh that was really key. The Absol was good. Um, you know, your deck just got off, you know, to a quicker start. Was able to take a big knockout on Myization first. So I think, you know, that's gonna be what I'm gonna try and do this upcoming game. Is just make sure that my Zashins are protected. If I'm putting one down, it's gotta have a frying pan on it. For sure. And uh, the Arceus Dalgapalkia you know, is relatively safe, but I guess with the Duskman able to just finish that off so quickly, um, you know, it's it's not always going to be safe on the bench. So going into game two, I think I am going to choose to go first. Hopefully that <laughs> works out for me. <laughs> HPU3 just wants a hat with this Psyduck emote on it. That's awesome. Uh, and yes, Tom Wayne, I am wearing the Latios Latios regional hat. Game two. I was definitely a pretty fierce advocate for the ADP version of this deck. Four, five, six, seven. Yikes, my guys. All right. <coughs> I think that. Yeah, I still. Well. Yeah, I guess. Okay. And good luck, Brady. Good luck. All set. Fun. Yeah, same to you. Draw. Let's go. All right. That was very good. <laughs> I did not have an energy in this hand previously. So we need, that's all we literally want, turn one, is the energy. So just going to put that there, and I'll pass to you. Sure. Yep. I had a Marnie in my hands to get things started, but yeah, I can't play a turn one. So. Four cards myself. Now this is gonna be you know, usually the toughest parts about playing ADPs, finding that water energy that you need on the second turn of the game to get the turn two Ultra Creation GX. Uh, we do have 
Fortunately, the tag call engine, though, so maybe Guzma and Hala are going to be doing some things for us. And Marnie is just seeing, I mean, uh, this matchup is super funny because it's Marnie back and forth the entire time. I don't think that I have played a matchup that was just such clearly Marnie Wars <laughs> as this one is. It's just back, you almost never get to keep your hand. You're just Marnie, 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 Marnie. Uh, I took out the one Rosa that I was playing. Oh, so what, Pat asking where you Yeah, that's what I took out for Absol. Yep. So, do you find yourself not really using the Rosa too much? Um, I don't know. I just didn't like it when there was one of, and I couldn't really fit space for two. Right. I think that's fair. Uh, you know, for me, uh, Rosa is is really good with like decks that aren't focused around GXs or two prizes, and it's fine in, the, in this deck because most of your guys are worth two prizes, so you have a couple opportunities in the game to be able to use the Rosa, which can be good. Wow. I'm getting off to a pretty explosive turn one. I'm going to use this guy. Which one? The, the one empty that one? has energy currently. Uh, okay. It didn't matter. Uh, <laughs> well, here we go. Yeah. Excellent. So, let's tag call. And we're going to tag call and see if maybe the Guzma and Hala is in the deck. If it is, yes, that looks like that is going to be what we want. So we're going to get Guzma and Hala, and my deck is just like all sorts of different ways right now, so <laughs> forgive me, Chad. If you see me looking through this deck and this card's upside down, I don't usually live like this, okay? <laughs> so have mercy, all right? It's not, uh, this is not normal for me. Uh, we've got the tag call for the Guzma and Hala and the Arceus Dagopalkia, and I believe I'm going to use Guzma and Hala discarding Arceus Dagopalkia and... Probably Mallow and Lana. I guess I could play the Mallow and Lana next turn. Yeah, probably the Mallow and Lana though. Yeah. So we're going to. What else did you check off for? Uh, this. Okay, I got you. Yeah. And okay. off of the Guzman Hollow, we're going to get an Aurora Energy, we're going to get a Shrine, and we're going to get a Pan. Shrine? And the Pan. Thanks so much, Alois, to remember. A Lewis to remember. Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub, Lewis. To remember. That's what it is, right? A Lewis to remember? Pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah, thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. There is an E. Looks like Luis. You think a Luis, Luis to remember? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll go ahead uh, and play that discarding the shrine. I'm pretty sure I don't want the shrine in this matchup. That seems oh, kind of bad. Uh, and then... I think that now that I just have these, I can put them down. Sure. And I think I am also going to, huh. I don't know if it's worth it to Whirlpool Suction. I think I'll just keep him down, and we're going to use the Alter Creation GX. Yeah. yeah. Quick one. And the reason that I'm putting the Zashin down now is just because, again, Marnie. I mean, like, I have the Zashin Metal Frying Pan combo. I feel like I have to just slam that down while I have it because you could just Marnie it away. And then I'm sitting here like, dang, wish I had a Zashin with, like, a Frying Pan combo, you know? <laughs> uh-huh. So, I mean, I guess if Brady were to, like, custom double custom catcher up my Zashin and hit it for not a knockout, like, I guess, you know, sure. Probably not going to happen. I imagine that Brady will most likely swing into the Arceus Dalgamalkia. And off of that previous hand, like, I guess I could have saved the Mallow and Lana, what, ditched the Metal Saucer, but that felt kind of bad, and I don't think that I'm going to be able to pull off the, um, the Mallow and Lana play next turn because of my current hand. Doesn't really have too much going on so Santizo Johnsoni says you guys testing has made my school load so much more bearable much appreciated well thanks for hanging out Johnsoni and uh, you're gonna smack my ADP this turn Brady yes 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, That adds up. That seems about right. So, I guess, so long as I can get a Zashin loaded up, I feel confident in my ability to win this game. Because, you know, Brady is just going to have a really tough time knocking out the Zashin. So, all I have to do is get, like, two of these doggos, you know, loaded up. I need to knock out two doggos. That's it. Uh, That's my game plan. Sure. And, you know, that's the that's the kind of the way this matchup goes, is that the RCS Tackle Pocket version will go behind in prizes, you know, early on. Yep. Now, another great thing that I have going for me this time, last time Brady was able to knock out a Jirachi early. That was bad because it puts you on a track where you only need to knock out one Zasha and one RCS Tackle Palkia. Right. And... Um, you know, and then the Jirachi, whereas now it's like, you need to knock out the RC Stagger Pocket, yeah, then I'm going to try and force you to knock out two Zashas as well. So we're going to draw, and I think I have to just take the guaranteed energy here, discard the Metal Saucer uh, with the Aurora energy, and then Marnie. And yeah, I can't really risk not finding an energy off this Marnie. That would be literally game losing. <laughs> Thank you so much, T. Wood. For the 510 bits, says, wish work didn't stop me from watching all your streams. I'm super glad this, uh, for the ones I do see busted. Thank you so much, uh, Travis. For those 510 bits, appreciate your support, my man, and everything you do for the channel. All right, we get five cards. And then I uh, have an opportunity to, hmm, I think the Jirachi being down is not the worst, though it does give Brady a route to potentially be able to end the game by taking out a Jirachi. I could also, I think we might just go Pokemon Catcher and try to try to take out the Absol or something this turn. Though that doesn't necessarily help with my prize trade. I guess it could. It also opens me up to getting stamped to low. Because I can't knock out this Zacian with my ADP. Not even close. So we're going to go for the Pokemon Catcher. See if we can take out something meaningful. And yeah, we're going to bring up the Absol. Okay. And then we are <coughs> going to bench the Jirachi. Thing seems fine. And finally, we are going to use Ultimate Ray for two prizes and load three energy onto Doggo. There it goes. Yep. Cool. Card's name? I have five. Oh, Stellar Witch. Yo, Tanish, I'm glad you like that busted selfie for YouTube, man. <laughs> Thanks for that. I appreciate it, Tanish. <laughs> But I think that this format is going to be all about, there's so many good, like, little bench sitters, you know? It's crazy. There's all these, like, you know, what kind of spice are you going to put into your deck? Right. Uh, there's the Fion, the Oranguru, the Absol. Um, there's the Mimikyu that turns off abilities. It's another fantastic bench sitter. Um, Jirachi, obviously, is, like, kind of in those leagues as well. He's, like, <laughs> just kind of the best bench sitter there ever was. So you've got all these little dudes who kind of just like amp up the big dudes and you know make them more powerful and I think that you're gonna see a lot of these guys in you know top tier lists heading forward in the next few months. All right, getting stamped to four. Yep. And then I'll Professor Shreesner. Sure. Got another comment in the chat saying that Lysander Labs will probably be big. And I think that Lysander Labs can certainly make a comeback with how big Metal Frying Pan is. And the Metal Frying Pan math really does disrupt quite a bit. Um, and I think that being able to turn off the Metal Frying Pan, very good, obviously. Also, being able to turn off a skateboard, very good as well. So, definitely expect those to be some cards that we see there's so many good stadiums at this point so many good bench sitters i do think that absol is probably among the strongest i also am a really big advocate for fion i think fion is completely broken 
Speaking of Fiona, man, I got a nice Fiona over here. I can play the nice Fiona. Yeah, check that. Man, I'm gonna swap her out. Yeah, I got a staff promo, cosmic eclipse stamped Fiona. Yeah, I'm up. I'm gonna glow my Fiona up right there. Yo, check that out. There we go. I've been intended to throw that in a deck, but hadn't gotten around to it yet. There we go. So, calling a sub. Okay. I will retreat. Now I think ideally you would have liked to take this knockout probably with a dusk main, right? Or is that even ideal? I, I mean, because of the way the prizes are working. I don't think so because you have the. I don't know. Oh. You don't know, right? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. Yeah, because either way, I'm gonna go to one, right? You know, so or one or two, you right. know. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter, right? I don't think. But yeah, I'll just I'll take one. Sounds good. And that way, you force my Zashin up. Now, I am on a clock where I can theoretically win in two turns. Yeah. Um, but you're in a clock where you can win in two turns as well. But I'm taking my turn first. So like. It's uh, slightly ahead here, and it's because of that Arceus Dalgapalkia's uh, Alter Creation GX really putting in some work. So, front of the Drachi, I have the switch in hand, so we're going to see one, two, three, um, and four, five. Stellar Wish. Nothing really here that I need. I'm not even going to take the Marnie because I'm just going to use Professor's Research. I need to dig and try to set up another Zashid as quickly as possible. Uh, I'm not exactly sure that Brady is going to play a Pokemon GX for me on that bench. I actually highly doubt it. So I'm thinking that this Great Catcher could end up being like a bad card and just discard it. Um, I do have two Pokemon Catchers left in the deck as well as my Fion. And it doesn't actually matter because I should be able to one hit KO just about everything in Brady's deck. And if he puts up the Lucario Melmetal, I can Fion around it. So we are going to take the Great Catcher just to thin the deck because I don't think that I will end up using it. And we are just trying to be a little bit greedy to get a backup Zashin builds up. Need one that's like at least a little bit close to being ready to go. All right, so we're going to take the Great Catcher. And then no energy attachments for me. We're just going to use, well, we're going to use Switch. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're going to use Professor's Research to discard our hand, draw 70 cards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, how many cards are in your hand, Brady? Um, nine. Well, uh, I'm going to play Reset Stamp. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like a good time to do that. It does. And then I'm going to Quick Ball and... I guess grab myself a second Zashin, and it doesn't really matter because I don't think you can knock out my Zashin. So I think, you know, I'm going to get it just in case because, like, theoretically, I don't know your list. So, like, you know, I'm assuming maybe there is some way you Lysander labs me and, you know, and can take it. So I am going to have to at least start to try and build up this guy. And then we will Brave Blade for the knockout. We take three prizes. I'm not going to lie, I really do love the artwork on the Zashin as well. The The V cards are just printed so neat. And I love the black borders on them too. I feel like that's something that, you know, we don't see all the time. The Prism Stars got black borders. Right. But outside of them, you know, we don't have like a full art card that has black bold, black borders. So I really do love the artwork on the V cards. They look very neat. Oh, we got a comment in the chat. Unibrow says, the regular card shuffling drives me crazy. How are you not damaging your cards? I am damaging my cards. Yeah, uh, all my cards are damaged. That's just how I play the game um, because ripple shuffling is the most optimal way to shuffle your cards. So it's fine. These are my cards that are meant for tournament play. I have a collection of cards, you know, in my old binder here that is not for riffling. And, you know, I keep them very nice. A lot of them are old. 
got this one. Ah, oh, we're scooping it up. All right, yeah, I had double switch in my hand. Anyways, to attack again with the brave play. I was trying to GX it with the card momentum. Oh, yes, that would have been good. Yes. And I suppose that would have for sure been a way out of that. So, really close games one and game two so far. I'm um, definitely stoked to see how this third one goes, but it just it feels tight. The matchup feels tight. Um, I will say, like, getting the Alter Creation GX is usually kind of sus. You know? <laughs> Uh, it, it is. Times. What's that? You got it both times. I did get it both times. So did I, turn turn one there. I had no energy in my opening yeah. hand, you know. And I top decked the energy, mm -hmm. so like that was sus, you know. We almost missed it there. And then I have to Marnie, you know. And I Marnie five cards. Better see one of my three waters, you know. And that, you know, it's just uh, really tough. So I think that's uh, the thing is though. Once you alter creation GX, I'm at such an advantage, you know. I feel yeah. like if I can alter creation GX without losing a dog. For sure. Or without losing the ADP, you know. I mean, you not having a way to knock out the dogs is like, I mean, that's like an insane part of this matchup. For sure. So I think, like, you know, could Lysander Labs be something that you consider playing, you think, to get around that? Or I think, so. <laughs> I, think I would play, like, a second Absol on a dangerous drill before I play uh, Lysander Labs. A second <laughs> Absol on a dangerous drill. That is the sauce. Just because, I don't know, I don't want to turn off my own. I mean, like... I just wouldn't want that card in the deck. <laughs> That's like you wouldn't my want worst. That card the, I mean, I get it, because like Pikaram used to play a skateboard on its Jirachis, but that also played Lysander Labs, which yeah. is just like a total pain to have to right. play around. But like it did it just because there were some tools that had to get turned sure. off, right? So uh, no, really interesting to see for sure. And uh, I'm excited to see how game three goes. So would you like to go first or second, Brady? I'll go first. Sounds good. Uh, we got a comment in the chat that says Andrew uh, tricks his deck out with the card he likes, uh, just like a, a teenager building his Civic because he likes it, you know? <laughs> yeah, I just tossed that staff promo Fion in here. We're riffling it up. I don't, you know, whatever, bro. <laughs> I think that staff promo Fion probably like, I don't know, probably like a $10, $20 card if I had to guess. Really? Yeah, man, the staff promos are really hard to find. Oh, it's a staff promo. Yeah, 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 yeah staff okay. promo. Yeah. That's probably like a $10, $20 yeah, card. Yeah. We just out here like, whatever, For you sure. know? I mean, not as expensive as his options or the Dedenne, you know, uh, whatever. Swag, bro. Got to do it for the gram. You feel me? <laughs> Brady's like, please yeah, stop bro. now. <laughs> stop now, bro. Please, 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 please. Um, all right, we lose this game, bro. <laughs> like, straight up, man. The uh, game's over. I don't know. Ah, <laughs> uh, game's over, man. That's how you feel that way. <laughs> uh, it's not about feeling that way. It's about being that way. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes you just open, you know, the worst possible combination of cards that you could have possibly opened, <laughs> and you go second. So, yeah, this is uh, brutal, man. Why not one time, for the one time, could I have gotten the Zosh and V ability, you know, and just gotten to do that turn one? <laughs> that would have been great. My only solace is that you know Brady can't do much on his first turn, you know, in the way of supporters. So, yes, I will very much remember not to play supporter. <laughs> <laughs> Pedro says, "Just shuffle the hand for another one, so we can see an interesting <laughs> game." Yo, I'm gonna let this play out just the way it's supposed to play out, and then we'll probably roll another one because I just want to see another game as well. But you know, I'm a listen. You gotta let Brady have the win sometimes too, you know. You know, not that he doesn't win enough, but like I can't just be like anytime I'm losing, be like, oh yeah, hold the phone. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just gotta let your opponent just womp on you. That's pretty good for Brady. Turn one, did a change, getting set up, multiple Jirachis and the Zashin now. Well, I'm scared. Now I could top deck out of this. I think if I top deck a research, you know, I'm getting like. Couple metal energies into the discard pile. Maybe I find a Zashin, a couple of a couple of old uh, metal saucers. You know, even though I would have to discard one, I guess also the Marnie could potentially save me. Eh, it's definitely sketch. Wow. Oh yeah, we're losing this game, one hundred percent. One hundred percent. Yo, go ahead and accelerate a third energy. Go ahead, man. Two Zashin's out? Sure. What a sack, bro. Man. 
All right, Brady. You got it, bro. I've got an unplayable turn. <laughs> I've got an unplayable turn. All right, all right, all right. Best of five, bro. We're okay. best. We're best of five in this. So this. This. I think it's an interesting enough matchup that it warrants it. So. Sure. All right. Best of five. Brady's uh, up two one. I did win the best of three though. <laughs> you did. He's taking that one home. But like just as. If you come back and win, Andrew, I won the best of three. All right. These are just for fun. The <laughs> serious game's over. Oh, the serious. No, 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 bro. This is a serious best of five. I gotta, I gotta see a serious best of five. This is a, uh, you know, this is a very tight matchup. I mean, a lot of people are investing in Zoshans now, right? right? right, right. A lot of people put in pre-orders for, for sure. Zoshans. A lot of people want to know, you know, what's going to be the best way to build my Zoshan deck. How does this matchup play out in a head-to-head -head contest? And right. I think that. That's all super valid. So I'm excited to get more reps in myself and kind of see, um, you know, kind of see how these decks interact more. And, you know, I mean, games like that happen all the time. You know, the matchup feels close. I think I definitely want Absol in this list. There's Mimikyu there now, kind of occupying that spot, but the Mimikyu Shrine combo is like really cool against Mewtwo decks. Yeah. So I think that that also is. Uh, it's very valid. You got some defense in the Thanks, chat, bro. I appreciate it. You got some defense in the chat, uh, Brady. So, yeah, fear not, man. You know, some people were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it, Brady. You won the best of three. All right, moving on. Game four. I will go first. Sounds good. Yep. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeet. And I'll draw a turn. Good luck. I have fun. Same to you. So I'm thinking, huh? Got energy spinner. I'm gonna use the energy spinner, and I'm gonna go get myself. I think the water energy that's in the deck, and then I can quick ball. Away a switch. And we're going to go get ourselves an RCS Dalgo and Palkia. I'm going to take a little look at the deck just to see what my Pixie tag time. call. Yeah, see what my tag call targets are in the deck. I think I really want a Cynthia and Caitlyn in this deck. Uh, I think like I mean, had it in for a second and then it you know, got taken back out and. Maybe yeah, I think I want it back in now. I think one, you know, if I'm playing tag calls, I want at least a Cynthia and Caitlyn in the deck. I think so. Sure. That is not an option for us. So uh, that's pretty interesting. Okay, cool. So maybe then I get to draw with the Zashin. Oh, this is insane. Yeah, this is this is broken for sure. Yeah, yeah, that's totally fine. Okay. Yeah, I well, I forgot I haven't drawn with the Zashin B yet, so that's just uh, you know, pretty gnarly. So I do like that, and then we're gonna end our turn with Zashin B. We're cool, man. Stellar Wish, sure. I have seven. Hmm. I'll take an escape. Seems good. You have a supporter in that opening hand? <laughs> yeah, you got two drives, though. <laughs> yeah, you're big chilling. And you get to Stellar Wish again. You're totally going to find like a Magnolia here. Stellar Wish. Huh. Quick ball. I mean, you could get it to Denny now. Yeah. <laughs> Is the hand looking a little bit rough? Um, I don't know. It's just got cards. I don't want to Denny away necessarily. You could have Ranguru one back in. All right, that's got three. <laughs> <laughs> You got three cards you don't want to get rid of. Correct. Ah, that is pretty tough then. Let's see. We got a comment in the chat saying, wouldn't you want to 
Uh, Lucario and Melmetal get the energy off the Arceus Dagopalkia as soon as I use the Alter Creation GX in this matchup. Could that be a you know a good way to go about this, or do you think it's not worth it? Um, I think I just want to use that turn, like, hitting it for 230. Yeah. I think so. I mean, because, like, the thing is, is, like, I don't really care if you strip the energy off the Arceus Diagopalkia, because I can Metal Saucer to the right. dogs and then come up. And, actually, these guys are dealing 260 damage. Okay. So, with, like, Shrine and things like that, I could potentially really, like, tick away at the Lucario Mel Metal and then maybe, you know, stick it with a knockout. So, it's tough. I mean, uh, it certainly is an option. And thank you so much. Another rack for the sub says, when is the new set legal? It's going to be probably, the I think, the third weekend in February. I'm actually just going to use the ability. Use the ability? Yeah. Cool. We'll Hopefully. draw. And we are going to attach to Arceus Dagopalkia, put the frying pan on dog. And then I'm going to switch. How many cards in your hand? Six. Oh, yeah, like I kind of have to Marnie, even though I know your hand is like not great. Um, so we're going to Marnie. <laughs> is that good or bad? It's very good. I had every switch in my hand. Every single switch in your hand. <laughs> um, yeah, it's kind of the only draw card I had, so that's fine. And we're going to draw five, two, three, four, five. And then I can use my Altered Creation GX. Seems good. And this is kind of like my ideal board state here. You know, the dog with the pan, the Arceus Dagopalki in the active. You know, Brady could GX, remove the energy. It's a possibility. But then he's got this, you know, Pokemon in play. Whereas if, like, if I knock out the Lucario Melmetal, then I just got to knock out a drive to the game. So it's, you know, kind of a risk-reward scenario. Um, you know, by slowing me down, he slows himself down too because you're investing energy into the Lucario Melmetal. So, um, and it's a lot of investment to get that thing built up to four energy as well. Pedro says the matchup seems very dependent on the coin flip. Uh, that seems pretty accurate. Whoever's like up at attacking first definitely um, feels favored. Uh, I feel like this version of this deck, if you can alter creation GX without getting punished, or if you can alter creation GX um, you know, before your opponent has really started to attack you, then you're usually going to win that game, yeah. like for the most part. That seems fair. Um, and that's just how this deck operates, not just in the mirror versus right. almost everything. Yeah. Uh, if you can, you know, Ultra Creation GX and then my ADP doesn't get blown up, like we pretty much win that game because then we get to Ultimate Ray once onto one Zashin, and then I get to Metal Saucer to another, and it's just lights out. Zashin's swinging for 260 damage, taking two to three prizes per turn. And I think that the Fion has been very good in this deck for getting the Arceus Dialgopalkia to kind of take a knockout with Ultimate Ray. I really liked that. The Pokemon Catchers as well just kind of give you a little bit more flexibility to be able to just bring up a target on the run. As we've seen, uh, I have not really depended on Jirachi too much at all with this particular version of the list. We're kind of just chugging along, drawing cards, doing our thing. You know, we got four Research and four Marnie in the deck. And it really just used that to kind of turn through the deck a little bit. Um, yeah, Jirachis have more or less been absent. We are running three Jirachis. And I think the argument for Pokemon Catchers in this particular version of the list over Custom Catchers is that... Sure, we're spending more time with like Arceus Dagopalkia in the active rather than... rather than Jirachi. Um, and you just don't have the Jirachis in the active as much as you will with like another version of the deck. So it's harder to search out the custom catchers in this version of the list. And you only have to take two knockouts to win. So you just like Fion for one, and then you can either Great Catcher or Pokemon Catcher for the other, um, you know, most of the time. So let's see what we're on here. I've got the energy. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to uh, research that away. 
So we are going to just research this hand though. Let's see 70 cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And at this point, yeah, we are just going to use the ultimate ray for two prizes. Yeah. And accelerate onto our benched dog. And I'm gonna replace it with a real dog. Not the proxy. <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? Nice little substitution. That's what's up. Yeah, I'll, I'll love a substitution. <laughs> and we'll put our energy on the doggo over here. You have a very large hand, so I'm going to reset spam to reset large hand. Ah, yes, very good. Uh, and it's all going away. I'll try and listen. Now, this feels insane for me at this point because I've got. I mean, I the RC's Taco Pocky hasn't even been touched. Correct. So, like, you're, you know, at this point. It hasn't been touched, and I got the ultimate ray, and it feels like it's probably just gonna be a runaway game. I mean, and then I'm getting Marnie, so I will draw first my. <laughs> what happened? Did you reset stamp me? I reset stamp, and now I'm Marnie. <laughs> so there's four, and now they go. On the <laughs> now they go on the bottom. Um, yeah, so now I'm gonna get four more. All right, very good. Two, three, four. But. Something I've learned um, is that this deck, you know, the ATP Zoshin deck really sets up a lot of checkmate, you know, game scenarios, and that's kind of what it does the best. Um, I think better than almost any other deck in format is that you get, you know, a couple of Zoshins loaded up after an Ultra Creation, and it's just, it's just checkmate. I mean, I've I've seen it playing against it with Pikaram. I've seen it playing against it, uh, which is about any deck that I've sleeved up. Uh, once you got like two dogs built up, and you've Ultra Creation, it's game over. And like once you, once you obtain that board state, there's just nothing your opponent can do to stop the dogs. I, they just swing them for 260 damage, taking bonus prizes. Like yeah, that's that's, that's whack. Pretty good. <laughs> yeah. uh, I will play for two three. Sure. It gets 230 there, and I will draw. Cool. So no stadium in play. That all seems fine. I think we're just going to switch. And then Marnie again. We kind of need to find another dog, but uh, it's not the end of the world if I don't. Three, four, and five. We'll bench Jirachi just to have it as a pivot. And then I'm just gonna save everything else in my hand right now. We can just brave blade for three prizes. And I know that you know Brady can't knock out both my ADP and my Zashin, so like I'm safe here. Uh, if he knocks out the Zashin, I can, um, you know, which I don't think his deck's capable of doing. Then I can use the Fion and push around the Zashin that he brings up. If he knocks out the RC Stag Palkia, all I have to do is find a switch combo and we are able to brace blade again six seven okay um sure now non gx decks could be a tough matchup i think for both zashin decks. Uh, I think that having the option to Ultra Creation is good. I mean, you only have to take a couple of knockouts versus a non-GX deck in order to pull ahead, but a deck like Baby Lecephalon is going to be very tough. I mean, obviously, they do have to get rid of five energy to knock out a Zacian, but that is not really a tall order for a Baby Lecephalon deck. I think that, you know, we've kind of talked about some checkmate situations against Baby Lecephalon. Just put Bronzong in there, man. Yeah. Yep. You pop a, pop a Bronzong in your deck. You know, maybe you put a Zip Strike in there too. You get a Ditto, Zip Strike, and a Bronzong. And, <laughs> you know, then maybe you've got this like. Because uh, I feel like if you're playing like a 1 1 Bronzong line, you might as well play the Ditto <laughs> and something else so that then you can like rationalize your 1 1 Bronzong line. Uh, what are you looking for here, Brady? Cardio Mel Metal with a Metal Saucer and an Energy Guard. Ah. Did we get there? Nope. Ah. <laughs> We're scooping it up. Thank you so much, TradeOY, for the 500 bits. It says, listen to the Heat Factory podcast you were featured in on the way to work today. And it was gas. Love this channel and the community. And I hope 
you and the entire Full Grip fam have an awesome day. Thank you so much, Train OY, for the love. Appreciate it. If you haven't already, make sure to check out the Heat Factory podcast. It was a lot of fun to do. Rob and Owen did a very professional job producing the Heat Factory podcast, and uh, it was wonderful to be a part of. So, well, we're at 2 2 now? Yep. All right. So we got Uno Moss and our uh, best of five. Yep. Unless you, you know, you lose this one and you want to change it into a best of seven, Brady. <laughs> I'll have to oblige. So. I'm chilling. All I'm right. No matter what happens here. You're, ch- <laughs> you're chilling no matter what happens. So that, uh, that sounds good to me, man. I took a run this morning. Like I said, I was like, woke up at like 7.45. And you know that gigantic hill? Like from, yeah. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Man, that, that hill is just, like, so insane to run up. Uh, yeah, I almost passed out, bro. Man. This morning, I got back to the apartment. I'm a little out of shape, man. And the air was cold, and I've been, like, coughing just because I'm, like, short on breath now. But, yeah. I guess game three, game five, actually. Would you like to go first or second? I will go first. Seems reasonable enough. Bro, if I open another dead hand and you just donk me, I'm going to be, like, real sick. <laughs> if that's the way that our best of five series goes down, you know, then I'm going to be having a pretty bad time. So, yeah, that's the goal, Jesse. I'm going I'm to try to. <laughs> what do you say? Yes, I'm going to win the Columbus Cup tomorrow. <laughs> oh, excellent. Yeah, no, I'm not going to be going to the Columbus Cup because I'm going to be here opening packs uh, of not, Sword and Shield. Not me, not me. <laughs> yes, uh, there's plenty of Sword and Shield packs to, to be cracking. All right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Dang, Brady. What's up, man? You hate to see it, bro. Another dead end? Aw, oh, man. <laughs> I can't believe it's going down like That's this. Crazy. <laughs> All right. Man, the games where I set up, it's like lights out. And then the games where we open hands like this, you know, get you into a real existential crisis where you're just like you know what's the point man <laughs> what's what's going on <laughs> yeah marnie that's not gonna help you out hmm. <laughs> that's correct <laughs> that's cool man i'm about to top deck out of this it's gonna be lit that would be pretty lit <laughs> that would be for sure <laughs> You got any other Pokemon events there, Brady? Yes. Very good. <laughs> I don't know, we're just gonna. Um, I'll, I'll first. I'm gonna go for a Pokemon catcher. Man. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a Pokemon catcher. Tails. All right. Yeah, this could be passed right back on over to you, my man. Dang. I hate to see it. Absolutely Dang. nothing. I can't believe the best of fives going Man, down. I really don't want to Marnie now. Yo, <laughs> Marnie me, bro. <laughs> it's fine. You win in this game anyway, bro. Uh, yeah, Let's go. We got there with the Marnie. Yay. All right, but now I'm on like a, you know, a super tight clock to use um, Alter Creation DX. Seems bad. So are we. Um, take the top one. Sure. Never know when that hand's gonna have a dead end. <laughs> I don't like what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> Does that hand have a dead end? <laughs> uh, the hand, yes, was looking like one where we would have maybe did a change. Yes. Oh, wow. Uh huh. I know, man. Sorry, bro. <laughs> it's cool, man. Give me the old run around. Are you debating dust shot or to accelerate the draw? <laughs> Classic decision. I I think I You got a one card hand, bro. I do, yeah. I think I'd rather, <laughs> I think I'd rather make it a four card hand. Draw. Should have dust shot. <laughs> <Dash, dash, dash. laughs> Alright, we're gonna go. Quick ball, discard a metal. I got the saucy top deck. That's, so that's good. I mean, I needed it, man. So we're going to go get Zosh and V. And then we've got the saucer onto Zoshian. And then Professor's Research to draw seven more cards. One, two, three, four. 
five, six, seven. Cool. So we can go here and discard a metal. And I'm pretty comfortable just going here. How many cards in your hand? Four. Four. OK. I'm pretty comfortable just going quick ball. And then I think I want to I don't want to push up somebody other than Jirachi, yeah. So I'm going to Fion, and I'm going to use Whirlpool Section. And it's like, Ready's hand is low, so I'm thinking here that this is just something that I'm doing to just try and disrupt him a little bit. We're going to throw the Fion onto the bottom of the deck, and then we're going to end our turn with Zacian V, draw three cards. Nice. And actually get to accelerate. Yeah, look at that. Switch. Dang, man, they always have it. <laughs> sure. Fortunately, just been kind of running dry here your first couple turns. So your first Marnie didn't seem like it was very great, right? And again, we've got like another start without Jirachi ourselves. So the Absol has actually been not as useful as it could, as it could be in this match just because I haven't had Jirachi start any game so far. Oh, um, not a single game. Take a custom catcher. Sure. <laughs> we got Will in the chat. What's up, Will? How you doing, man? Will asks, are these lists from Japan? They are not, and we made them. In fact, this is Natalie's RCS Dalga Palkia, Zashin V list, and this is Brady's Zashin V Lucario Melmetal list that we are testing out. So, yes. Um, and they're good. Really like the list so far. Okay, so RCS Dalga Palkia, and a little bit of trouble in that list. You got no energy on a Zashin yet. That is insane. So, I think here. How many cards in your hand? Six. Six. Uh, I'm just going to go with the quick ball away, the professor's research, <clears throat> get ourselves a Jirachi, just because I like have the escape board for it. I'm going to attach the metal on it with Marnie. Just seems like time to get a Jirachi onto the board just in case. Now we're going to put our hand on the bottom. Four and five. Two, three, four, five. Okay. And we are going to Alter Creation GX. Sure. Dog is like kind of, or the the dust is kind of done what it needed to do, you know. Oh, you got two. Yeah. Dang, man. Okay, I guess like found your energy, <laughs> um, which is good. So I am ready to roll now. I've got 
Aurora Energy, discard Jirachi. I can bench another Zacian. I can Metal Saucer to power this one up. And then Ultimate Ray for Knockout to accelerate to this other one. So I'm feeling pretty confident about that, especially with two dogs loaded up now to Brady's two dogs. Um, and I get to take two prizes on the Dusk main. Uh, a little bit concerned that neither of my dogs have got, uh, neither of my dogs have got pans on them. Pan, pan lids, frying pans, that's what it is, yeah, metal frying pans. Yep. <laughs> hey, Jesse Parker in the chat, I think that, I think you just volunteered, bro. <laughs> uh, sounds to me like uh, like yeah. you just volunteered for uh, yeah for duty there, Jesse Parker. So that one's on you, my man. <laughs> uh, I think the someone is you. <laughs> oh my gosh! You just pulled landscaping duty. <laughs> yeah. I did put four energy. What am I on? Okay, <laughs> it's three energy. I got it, guys. I got it. I don't. That was just. Uh, that was just a goof. I know it's not four energy. I would only get three. Take professor's research. Sounds good. Yo, there you go, Jesse. Thank you so uh. much <laughs> for the gifted sub and welcome, Will, to the channel. Busted Will Mantho, everybody. Thank you so much, Jesse, for supporting the channel, as always, and appreciates the games that we got to play on stream, Jesse. Four, five, six, seven. Um, card name? I have four. Uh, slightly annoying because your Absol here pretty much, yeah. Well, I guess I can. I can retreat it. Sure. Got an energy, right? Yep, so that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Right, my Zacian's are already like you know bossed up at this point. So we'll uh, yeah, we'll go for the Stellar Wish. Two, three, four, five, and I'm pretty comfortable just getting. Quick ball at this point. I am just stellar wishing, and I guess for more stuff to be able to Guzman Hala away. So, like, it doesn't really make a difference. We're gonna Guzman Hala and discard Quick Ball and Shrine, and we're gonna go get ourselves a pan. Thankfully, there is a pan in the deck. What are the things you get off Guzman Hala? You get a pan. <laughs> A stadium. And a special energy. And a special energy. It's looking like we're getting pan. All right. <laughs> so, you know what I love doing, guys? I love playing my supporter for one tool. One tool. <laughs> discarding three cards. If you've ever heard me speak poorly of Guzman Hala, it's for this reason. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, that's fine. All I really wanted was the pan. That's that's it. I mean, really, that's, that's what we're here for. I'm going to pay to retreat the Jirachi... And we have got Zoshin V taking three prizes with Brave Blade. Right, I'm going to click ball. Not get the dinner. Sure. Now, what is your potential route out of this game at this point? I'm going to stamp you to one and GX the active Zacian. That seems solid. Yeah. <laughs> that seems pretty good. I need to find one energy card. <laughs> Off of this data change? Um, well, I'm going to Star Wish to try and hit it. Juno, or, uh, whatever her name is. Magnolia. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Magnolia. That Magnolia. seems good. Uh, I'll stay. Yeah. yeah. And then my out is going to be to try and find a um, a switch 
and the Fion. And the Fion is going to be a potential game-winning card here, so it's one of the reasons why I love it so much. Why, why would Fion be a game-winning card? Well, wouldn't it push, if I get Switch and Fion, push the card moment out of the way? And go then bring up. him up. You can't knock him out now. Why not? Because you'll be doing 30 less. Oh, you're right. Oh. Yikes. Yeah, I forgot. Your doggo is about to be beefed up. Yeah. That's tough. It's one card. Oh. Oh, that'll do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> yeah, that'll I can do keep it. Keep the hand. That's pretty cool. Right, for sure. What's cool is that, you know, Zashin, you get stamped one. Again, just <laughs> a trepid sword. You're like, ah, well, you know. Uh, stamped one, all my energy removed. So let's just draw some cards. So that's uh, that's pretty legendary for sure. Lucario Melmetal in game five, making its debut finally. Uh, we're going to get to see that full metal, wall. full metal wall GX. Sick. And here goes all the energy. Goodbye. And now your Pokemon taking 30 less damage. Cards in hand, Brady. Seven of them. Huh. <laughs> Seven of them, say. Indeed. It's quite a few. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So let's see. What are my gusts effects? You know, looking like I guess you can't really. Oh, I also couldn't have data change last turn. <laughs> did you? I have a power plant. Oh, very good. I was gonna say, please tell me. Didn't no, I, mess I, up I did not. I did not. But I was definitely prepared to. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. Um, wondering here if it's correct to just intrepid sword, or to just get get pop it. I mean, one of these turns, I'm gonna have to intrepid sword, for sure. Uh, I'm gonna stamp you. I know. And then I think I need to grow my hand a little bit. So like I have the Mallow and Lana. I gotta play it to switch. And the the routes that I have are I either switch into Zashi and leave myself with a zero card hand and Brave Blade. That feels kind of bad because I can't I don't have a switch. I'd have to top deck it or whatever, you know, you know, top deck a Marnie to also, switch to attack again. Do you have that much energy left? I feel like if I kill that one you might just lose. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So like I think that we are going to Mallow and Lana into the Jirachi, Stellar Wish, and then Intrepid Sword. Yeah, right. Seems good. Um, so I'm going to Stellar Wish. Two, three, four, five. Cool. Um, I think here, I mean, that thing could get knocked out. The Jirachi could. So we probably want to just guarantee ourselves a research next turn. And then I will Intrepid Sword with this one. Sure. He wakes up. Switch. Sure. Starwish? Yep. Yes, I am definitely a little bit scared. If you do knock out this Zashin, it does feel like potentially game over, I guess. I don't know, man. If I swing into this, though, I could win the game with Jirachi Slap. <laughs> I'm serious. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> you know? So, uh, you know, that was a potential option. I do need to count my metal saucers and see, like, what we're working with as far as saucers go and an energy count generally in the deck. Um, I have two saucers down. So I do have two saucers left. So I could, theoretically, if there's an energy to manually attach... What you doing over there, Brady? I was figuring out what I did with my hand. <laughs> I right. found it though. <laughs> I'm glad, dude. Uh, I will Marnie. Okay, that's fine. It's not the double custom catcher? Next turn. 
I don't think you can win here. You don't think I can win? Oh, I mean, I guess if you hit like heads on a Pokemon catcher, but that's right, 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 right. <laughs> good way. Yeah, you could. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm not going to Jirachi. Sure. Let's go for Jirachi. All right. This is tough. Okay. So I really want to have the frying pan one out. I really don't want this one in the active. It's just like. You know, big liability. Yo, let's go. That's a heads, bro. Jirachi in game. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. What a, <laughs> what a finale. Uh, my other frying pan was prized, so I had no option to put a frying pan on this thing. Uh, I did have enough energy in my hand to... to <laughs> were they prized? Or... No, they were the next two cards. They were the next two cards of the deck. Oh my gosh, so uh, yeah, I did have options to start loading up the one with the pan on it, um, but I didn't have an option to get a pan on this one, so if you were going to be able to gust it up and finish it off, that would be a game I had to had to gust, so I mean, that, that just feels like a mirror match to me. You win the best of three, I win the best of five, I mean, big sack coin flip to decide it, you know, it sounds, uh, it sounds pretty neck and neck as far as I'm concerned. But uh, if you're watching on YouTube, <laughs> thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, yeah, and uh, Pokemon Catcher Broken Card. And make sure to check out FulgurGames.com for our trading card game singles. We've got Sword and Shield singles up now on FulgurGames.com. And uh, thank you all for watching.